Item number, SCP-2693. Object class, pending. Special containment procedures. Outpost 27 has been built around SCP-2693-1 under the guise of a nature reserve. A tracking device has been attached to SCP-2693-2. After SCP-2693-2 enters SCP-2693-1, agents are to immediately detain SCP-2693-2 wherever it appears and are to conduct standard amnestization of any civilians who witness SCP-2693-2. Description SCP-2693 collectively designates the relationship between two separate entities, designated SCP-2693-1 and SCP-2693-2. SCP-2693-1 is an 18-meter deep stone brick well located in mid-Arizona. According to historical records, SCP-2693-1 was constructed by an independent landowner in 1928 and has since gone dry. Thorough investigation has revealed that no anomalous phenomena or involvement from individuals or groups related to the anomalous were involved in the construction or contracting of SCP-2693-1. SCP-2693-2 is a black, gold, and white domestic calico cat, approximately two years old. SCP-2693-2 is not remarkably different from similar domestic cats of its breed, and research has shown no evidence of inherent anomalous properties. Whenever SCP-2693-2 is near SCP-2693-1, it will immediately attempt to jump into SCP-2693-1, although it can be prevented from doing so. If SCP-2693-2 is able to fall into SCP-2693-1, shortly before it hits the bottom, it will be teleported to a random location within approximately 50 miles of SCP-2693-1. The reasons for SCP-2693-2's behavior are unknown. The only noticeable change between instances is that SCP-2693-2's tail will have shortened by approximately an inch after each teleportation. The significance of this is unknown. Discovery SCP-2693 was discovered after multiple reports from a man named Eddie Brown, claiming that his cat had fallen into a well and abruptly vanished. Mr. Brown and a local ranger spent a few hours searching for SCP-2693-2 before it suddenly appeared out of a nearby bush and promptly jumped into SCP-2693-1 again. At roughly the same time, police received a phone call from a local resident, Susie Jones, claiming an unwanted cat had suddenly appeared in her house. The anomalous properties of SCP-2693 were determined, witnesses were amnesticized, and SCP-2693 was officially registered under the Foundation database and contained. SCP-2693 Incident Reports Prior to allowing SCP-2693-2 to enter SCP-2693-1, research was conducted into both objects independently. Neither of them demonstrated any anomalous traits alone, and as such, it was concluded that anomalous phenomena would only take place upon the interaction of SCP-2693-1 and SCP-2693-2. For research purposes, overseeing staff allowed the SCP-2693 interaction to take place, but with necessary precautions. Below is a list of all overseen instances of SCP-2693-2 entering SCP-2693-1 and details involving the events. Incidents 1 and 2. See Discovery section of this document. Incident 3. SCP-2693-2 teleported into an open field 41 miles north of SCP-2693-1. Incident 4. SCP-2693-2 appeared 12 miles southwest in an abandoned power plant. Incident 5, SCP-2693-2 teleported into a shallow creek 5 miles east. The tracking device short-circuited shortly after a signal was sent, and agents had to search the area for two hours before they could find SCP-2693-2. Incident 6, SCP-2693-2 appeared 50 miles south and was found sleeping in an abandoned truck. Incident 7, SCP-2693-2 was teleported in the middle of a busy sidewalk 21 miles northwest. Due to the heavy foot traffic, no civilians actually witnessed the teleportation, and SCP-2693-2 was recovered without any major difficulties. Incident 8. SCP-2693-2 appeared 18 miles west, approximately 30 feet above the ground in the branches of a pine tree. Notably, SCP-2693-2's tail had been entirely reduced at this point. Incident 9. The predicted teleportation event did not take place. SCP-2693-2 immediately died when it hit the bottom of SCP-2693-1. 